Hey, hey, Justin here with DayTradeMasters and BitcoinTap.com. Today, I want to dive into the world of cryptocurrency exchanges and explore the key differences between centralized and decentralized one. It's a battle of advantages and disadvantages that you don't want to miss. So let's break it down, starting with decentralized exchanges. Generally, they offer way more functionality than decentralized exchanges, such as leverage trading, limit orders, stop losses, and generally pretty easy to use. Now on the downside, centralized exchanges hold custody of your assets, which means some risk of fraud. Not your keys, not your crypto. Transaction fees can add up and be a sting on your portfolio as well. And there's always the haunting hacking risk. Now let's shift over to decentralized exchanges. They offer less censorship, protecting themselves against market manipulation generally, and give you control over your custody. But, like all good things, decentralized exchanges face some struggles, especially with liquidity, making trading sometimes tricky. They lack fiat payments, and complexity can be a hurdle. This is where education comes in. So, it's a bit of a trade-off, my friends. Centralized exchanges for ease, but watch out for those fees and risks. Decentralized for control, but be ready for some liquidity issues. Let's continue to share this wisdom with our fellow traders. Whether you're team centralized or team decentralized, it's all about knowing the game and playing smart in the crypto world. We can diversify with both. For more education tips and tricks, follow and subscribe to Daytrade Masters and BitcoinTaft.com.